do you ever wonder what could I possibly cook with no monies? No monies. And I have the solution for you in this video. I'm gonna cook the most budget recipe and show you the step-by-step -step process of how to get a good meal. It's always gonna hold this flavor every day. I personally eat this twice a day every day for the most part. This is pretty much an all vegetarian based meal and that is a stir fry. Shut the fuck up, Will! <laughs> this is my one hour, under one hour recipe how to. Let's dive into it. So this is what we got working with today. Like I said, veggie dogs. Tofurky. Obviously you could add extra like onions and mushrooms, but obviously I didn't buy them. Once you have all your vegetables prepped and washed, you must cut them up. Then I'll just toss on the frying pan and get it started. Once you have everything chopped up and ready to go, you want to fry up that pan, make sure all those loose ends are in the compost, and then you can start whipping it up. Alright, so I have everything prepped. I got my veggie dogs, my red cabbage, my broccoli, my carrots and zucchini. Next, I'm going to need my grapeseed oil, just because it cooks stir fries very well. And of course, a pan. The larger the pan, the more useful, because then you can make bigger batches and have longer days without cooking. First thing I'm going to do with the pan is toss in the vegetable dogs and onions if you have them. Let them saute and cook for a while. And then just place all your vegetables in the pan all together. Now I'm just going to let these harden a bit before I put in all my vegetables. Just the flavors are just rising. This is a spatula, a wooden organic spatula. And it's the most important tool for making all of this work together. So, God bless the spatula. Ooh, do you smell that? It smells like McDonald's. Whoa, bring it back a step. Once all of your sausages are nicely cooked, add the vegetables. So the broccoli and the cabbage is going in. Let's go. Say hello to everybody. Carrots, more broccoli, and the zucchini. Let's say hello. Alright. Some of you are probably wondering, Liam, why are you not wearing a face mask? Your beard looks like the size of a bush outside my front doorstep. But actually, no, it's not too big of an issue. I haven't got too much hair in my food. So as you can tell, I have all my food in the pan. I'm just going to cook it slowly for 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll just take everything out. I'm going to be using rice today just because I love rice and I have a large bag of it. And the Japanese use it and they live to like 100 years old so I might as well follow those footsteps to immortality. Make sure to stir it here and there. You can add extra things like sesame oil, soy sauce, or even some herbs like ground pepper or whatever, cayenne pepper to make it that flavor pop. I often use chili peppers as well just to make it spicy, but knowing that I cleaned my fridge out completely recently, I don't have the sesame oil because it accidentally got thrown in the garbage, so that's a minus, but I'll just have to go buy that shit again. Next, you're going to want to clean while you cook. You're going to want to clean the countertop, clean the cutting board, and then once you're done cooking, because there's nothing worse than cooking and having to look after you just eat the most majestic, flavorful meal. You look at the dishes and you're like, oh fuck man, I just got into the relax mode, the appreciation, the gratitude mode, and now I gotta fucking clean? Come on, man. Once the, all the vegetables are really soft and brown and kind of roasted looking, that's when I'm gonna turn off the heat. Just slowly cooking the meal, in the meantime, might as well hang out and chop with my roommate, Will. Yeah, what up? Smoothie God. Yo. So we got blackberry, strawberry, banana, almond milk, organic only, motherfuckers. COVID prevention, yo. Are you the sesame oil garbage thrower? No, I'm the smoothie choster. Now that it is slowly cooking better and better towards that roasted look that I'm looking for, I'm gonna toss in my herbs and my soy. Mm. Unfortunately, 
Unfortunately, no sesame oil. I'm just gonna let it cook for a couple more minutes and then set it aside. While this is cooking, I'm gonna heat this rice because that's gonna be my base for this meal. It's ready. And that's gonna be the end of the recipe. stir fry is complete. You can add things to it, you can mix it up the way you want, you can add it to spaghetti, you can add it to udon, you can add it to whatever base you really want. It's vegetables, it's super diversible. This took me under 60 minutes to cook, so obviously you can too. All you have to do is chop things up and put it in a pan, and then you wait and let it cook for itself. That's it, that's my video. Thanks for watching stir fry. How to make an easy budget broke ass stir fry 101 and make it taste like a beast. Hopefully Kitchen Time with Liam Dawson was a dope experience. If you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment. Let me know what you're cooking even, and let's get back to it. This is it.